This is the daily video update for Thursday, November 19th, 2020 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This week we're highlighting the work of the Green Sanctuary Committee at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. And this evening we'll have a chance to, uh, to hear from them directly, both during worship and afterwards. So uh, I'll turn it over to Becky one more time. Um, and, uh, and then we'll see you in worship tonight. So outside of what you're doing with the Green Sanctuary Committee, I've, I've known you for several years now uh, as a person of deep faith and, and thoughtfulness about religion and theology and meaning making in the world. So I, I wonder, for you, um, what's what is the connection between this work on on something like the the city's plan and your faith? Seventh principle, <laughs> um, and I I mean to me that is and and actually you know justice the justice piece too because we know that the environment and any environmental degradation hits the poorest, both among us in the US, but also globally. And, and to me, that's a pretty strong piece of um, what I believe a person of faith should be about is to try to keep this intact. Mm -hmm. uh, and another piece, I guess, of it is that um, when I need uh, healing. We're talking about healings this month. Um, nature is a huge piece of that. And I think it is for many of us. And um, I, I think that we need to have that support for people in the future. And to me, that's a, a, a matter of faith uh, or a matter of something to keep um, I, in our in our minds. Um, so to me, it's terribly connected. <laughs> uh, and I guess the other piece of, I think you know my involvement with CCL, and um, we are having our, uh, we, we meet with our uh, members of Congress. I mean, we meet with them more often, but there's a time in June and then a time usually in November, but for obvious reasons, we may put it into December. <laughs> and we have a call in to Congress Day on December 5th. And we're asking people to call our members of Congress and just say, I mean, if you don't support putting a price on carbon, and I do, I think it's the single most effective thing we can do. But even that, if you just say, we need action on climate change and just have our members of Congress hear that, um, mm -hmm. it can maybe help Biden do something. I don't know. Yeah, and CZL is Citizens Climate Lobby. Just, yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and maybe the congregation would like to know that you have signed your support for it. The yeah. UUA has signed its support for it, and the board has also supported that. Yeah. Uh, and and that solution is putting a price on carbon with the revenue going back to households, so the poor are not unduly affected by the possible right. rising prices. So. Right. Which is. Yeah. A start necessary but not sufficient i think oh oh <laughs> not at all sufficient but helpful right you know and and a sing the single most effective thing among the host of things that have to happen so. well thank you for the time i'm gonna stop the recording now and i think we're gonna chat for a little bit about the service on thursday but thank you so much for for doing this